Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I gotta say, I took a while to understand Bitcoin. And my Bitcoin story, I first learned about it in 2012 when you could mine Bitcoin on your computer or your GPU. And I'll tell you, I tried to do it with my Del Vostro. It did not work well. So I was like, shoot, you know what? Maybe it's just not for me. So a few years ago, I heard about it again when I graduated. And that was in 2016. Again, I heard about it. I didn't know much about it. So I kind of ignored it and moved on. Then um, I heard about it a third time. And I think I only had $100. I bought like $100 worth in 2016. So, um, or less than that. I only bought like $10 worth or something like that. Like a very small amount. And then uh, a few years later, um, I really started to learn about money economics, finance, all that good stuff. And what made me finally understand Bitcoin, I think, is when I realized it became legal tender in El Salvador around 2021 in September. That really made me go down the rabbit hole because I was like, whoa, this, I already believed in it in 2020 and 2021, but I really started to believe in it after that because I was like, this is insane. A, and I called it a crypto back then. A crypto is going to become legal tender in this country. So immediately I decided I need to go fly out there and I need to study it because it is actually a pretty impactful thing to the world. And I really transacted with it. I used it. I met the locals. I bought pupusas. I, everything I did, I transacted with in Bitcoin. And by traveling there, I got to see how it works in person end to end. I got to know all the pain points, all the issues and all that. And this is really what made me finally understand Bitcoin because I had to use it. I had to educate on it and I had to be there as kind of a pillar of support to a place that really didn't have Bitcoin as much, um, you know, or didn't have a good money in the past. And now they're trying something new. So the debasement of money openly and in a deceitful manner by the governments, you know, over the years that followed my visit, I really started to go down the rabbit hole of how it gets debased, what the government's intentions are and all that stuff. And I'll tell you, the government has always been open about the debasement or the inflation. They call it inflation, but the 2% rate per year. But as we've witnessed $100,000 in 2020, if you, if you wanted the same purchasing power today in 2024, you need to make $126,000. So as you can see, there's been, you'd have to see $25,000, $26,000 worth of increases in salary to have the same living standard. And I think at this moment right here, I was like, whoa, like the government has been very deceitful the past couple of years. Because if you were to pen that out or pencil that out, you'd see maybe... I don't know, maybe you'd a uh, hundred ten thousand dollars, but but it, it's actually much worse than that. So I kind of started to realize that they're being deceitful, and I need to study a new money that can actually protect myself because the government clearly doesn't do that for you. So a money that doesn't need to be legal tender by the decree of government, but rather the buying of the people is something I look at now too. Is like. Do, did gold historically need to be declared by the government to become a money? No. It was transmittable across different countries through ships and through different nations. It was commonly accepted. The same thing here. We know that Bitcoin is commonly accepted across the world. We're still trying to figure out how it's going to work and how it's going to play a role in this future economy. But it, I kind of look at it like that digital gold. I kind of buy into that digital gold narrative. Now, um, the people that are building on top of it was probably the next thing that got me to finally understand Bitcoin. And that's because at the end of the day, some things are only as good as the people behind it. Now, I'm not saying that with Bitcoin in totality, but I do think a lot of people that are on Bitcoin right now really understand it, really believe in it, and are working to try to build solutions to help the world. The monetary maximalists, they really want to help the world and they strongly believe that Bitcoin will be that answer and that solution. 
whether that's the truth or not, I think it is really in the hands of the people and, and whether it could be done to, to roll out on a larger scale or not. So I think, you know, essentially, you see all the people building on top of it, the layer twos, the lightning network. You see a lot of excellent work being done in different countries and circular economies around the world. You see different game services, video games, you know, playing poker with uh, Satoshis, all that. I mean, it's it, the list goes on and on about all the benefits you see with Bitcoin around the world. And I think that was the next thing. And, you know, I'll tell you this. I've listened to hundreds of hours of podcasts, thousands, actually, tens of thousands. And I've, I've been to several Bitcoin meetups and conferences. And these all, I don't want to say, like, convinced me, but helped reinforce and network with other Bitcoiners that also understand the network. Um, whereas if I didn't go to these different things, I wouldn't understand much about it. Um, only what I kind of read online or read through CNBC, right? I mean, CNBC, they can talk about it all day long, but they only have that surface kind of scratch, scratch of the surface level understanding. If you go to a meetup or a conference, you really get to go down that rabbit hole. And it is quite an interesting thing. So, you know, I think the big thing, though, that really makes me buy into Bitcoin more than anything is seeing the working man get screwed by the price hikes while the banks get bailed out and the billionaires, they get private jets with PPP money. I mean, this this stuff really irks me, guys. And I know that this was written on the Genesis block. Chancellor on brink for the second bailout for the banks. And I, I just, that, man, that pisses me off. That these banks, that they took bad risks. They put took bad bets. And they get bailed out with taxpayer dollars because they're quote unquote systematic risks. When in reality, they, they should go under. It's the free market. They should go under. And that pissed me off, guys. And seeing that and seeing the 2020 COVID pandemic happen and all these rich people, already rich, buy more Rolls Royces and buy private jets and all this stuff. PPP money was government money, guys. 0% loans. This And yes, I understand the intention was to stimulate the economy that stopped to a, a halt. But at the end of the day... There was so much corruption that still hasn't caught up to those people. And you start to realize, wait a second. I'm working I'm working day in day out paying taxes into a system that does not benefit me at all. Literally, I don't I don't I don't get any of the rewards. I just see the negative effects when I go to the grocery store and my steak that used to be $9 is now 18 or twenty dollars. I don't see the benefits. I don't. I don't hold so many assets where I see the capital appreciation. I don't have a lot of real estate. I don't have a lot of debt. So I, I'm not. This system's not working for me. And and you see all this, and you're like, dang. I can't believe it. I can't believe all this stuff happened. So, guys, this is just some of my thoughts here. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. And what. What made you finally understand Bitcoin? Did you kind of one day take a step back and go, huh, this is all so messed up. I need to find a solution where I can opt out of this corrupt system I'm living in. And Bitcoin, in my opinion, is the best opt out of that system I've ever seen. And it really just traveling and seeing the world has really helped me kind of buy into it and also understand it at a deep, deep level. Anyways, I hope you guys share this. Be sure to click that referral link. All your support means a lot. Stream some stats if you liked it. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.